I uh, first found about 11 years ago. I had uh, heart issues. I was very tired. And I'd uh, wake up in the middle of the night gasping for air. And I just uh, got to the point where I could hardly move. So we called the ambulance and I didn't think I really needed anything, but my wife thought I did, so here I came. I came in and went straight up to, I think, the sixth floor. And then they started to uh, put the stents in. And then after that was uh, the micro valves. Mitroclip is a non-invasive procedure to repair a mitral valve. The valve changes its geometry. So the two doors of the valve, they don't come together. A lot of blood goes into the left upper chamber of the heart, which is a wrong chamber. That causes the individual to start experiencing shortness of breath, fluid in the lungs. They are waking up in the middle of the night gasping for air. They would notice decreased exercise capacity. But there are a lot of patients who are just walking around day-to-day -day basis with severe mitral valve leakiness, but all what they have is just some shortness of breath, some fatigue. But if that is not recognized, then this whole process continues, and then mitral valve leakiness makes the heart muscle weak. Heart muscle weakness makes the mitral valve worse. So it's a vicious cycle that you need to break. When I had the uh, Marco surgery, I was uh, probably here for a couple of days, it's not as invasive as a open heart surgery, and so you get ready to go real fast. It's done under anesthesia. We go from the groin, and when you look at the historical data, over the past 10 years, MitraClip has evolved and has gone through four iterations. And what we saw was that now about 98% of the procedures can be done successfully. This becomes an option to help them improve their symptoms, their quality of life, and decrease hospitalizations. This has been, in my opinion, is a very soft operation. About three days after that, I was at home. I was walking, doing short exercises that I had gotten. And then about eight weeks after that, in cardio rehab, and I could feel myself coming back right away. Walk every day. I'm still at 87 years old, going to the office five hours a day, five days a week. Sometimes they wish I'd come about two hours a day. <laughs> All this happened and started at St. Agnes, and uh, I was well taken care of. They took care of me fast. I didn't have to wait a long time, and it was great. So people better take advantage of it. If you feel risky, you feel like you can't breathe, or anything else, get to St. Agnes.